Over the past week or so, I've been playing some Star Wars games for this channel, and over the last few days I saw the new Star Wars film, and all of this has put me in more of a Star Wars mood than I have been in quite some time. But unfortunately it was all tinged with melancholy when I heard the news of Carrie Fisher's passing a few days ago. And I didn't know if I would do anything about it because I have nothing new to offer. I have nothing insightful to, to say for a woman whom I've never met before and never will. But the series means a lot to me, and by extension, she means a lot to me. And even though I have nothing to say, I feel I would be remiss to have an outlet to express myself and not use it to offer my deepest respects to a woman who I admire greatly. And since I have nothing to offer you that's new or exciting, I want to tell you a story. One that I've never told anybody because it isn't fresh, it isn't funny, it isn't anything other than true. When I was very little, I watched an old VHS of Star Wars. So old that it didn't even have episode 4 on the cover of it. And as I was watching, I turned to my mother and I asked her if what I was seeing was real. I knew the concept of stories, I knew the concept of characters and fiction, and even so, when I watched Star Wars, all of that disappeared. I became absorbed into the magic circle, and all of the hammy acting and silly effects and rather uh, atrocious writing at times, it all melted away. And I believed. I believed more than I ever had and likely ever will. Whenever I watch Star Wars, that feeling always comes back to me. The feeling of the little kid who dreamed of holograms and starfighters in a system far away. Part of what makes her passing so difficult is that she was a part of a series that I cared very much for, but it's more than that. If you've been a fan of films for the past 40 years, and you've been a fan of Carrie Fisher, she was a script doctor in many notable films, and the industry as a whole will be poorer for her loss, and even that doesn't hold a candle to all of her accomplishments. As an advocate for mental health and equality, she will be missed, and of course that goes without saying. I don't want to conclude this by saying, may the force be with you. I've always considered that sort of thing to be rather tacky, because she was more than just a character, she was a fully fleshed person. But... I'm at a loss of what else to say. Perhaps instead I'll just say thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for helping me dream.